Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. This is another Sysmus Structure software tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform a cyclic analysis on a concrete reinforcement shear wall. So this is now a concrete shear wall. This is a curve. So we want to get this one in a, in a model which has a three meters uh, length and four meters height. So we jump to the uh, Sysmus Structure software and we can create uh, modeling uh, views uh, unit millimeters uh, new tab no okay and I can come to here uh, building modeler uh, in the building modeler I want to select one floor so one floor so the height is a four meter so it's a, so a cylinder wall and uh, now I can create a uh, I can uh, bring some changes here as well I can but we can do this later as well I'm gonna go okay no need I'm gonna create new project and it will uh, send us to the modular area now uh, we are in the modeling area and uh, this is the grid line and you can come through here and check the grid so the snap, which is picking this is 15 millimeters. So each grid uh, type is one meter or 1,000 millimeter. So in the X and in the uh, Y. So I'm gonna OK. So uh, here is a concrete shear wall. Uh, in the concrete shear wall, I can select the not this one because it's a core wall. I'm gonna use this one, a single shear wall. And recall to get this one, and here I can change the thickness is 300 millimeter. I'm selecting the middle point, and here is the geometry. The called the pseudo column width is 100 millimeter. So we're not uh, not discussing here. Later we will discuss everything there in the uh, analysis part. So we select as it is, and we pick up that point and we want three meters so this is one meter two meter and this is three meter so finally we created a three by four meters shear wall you can see here so here is the concrete shear wall so we know exit this one and automatically it will go to the next uh, This is the we jump to the actually to the analysis part and it require me to specify a nominal lateral load so the nominal lateral load is no required in the cyclic analysis and instead we will apply displacement so we can uh, for the time being is accept okay because we selected study push over that uh, uh, nominal lateral load will require so we change that nominal lateral to static time history analysis so it will ask me so that that load will be removed so automatically that load is removed uh, I should say that um, Sysmo structure uh, um, Sysmo structure software will provide uh, fiber elements and also creating some uh, some numerical model which we can uh, consider the uh, reinforcements inside of this uh, shear wall and also a changing from one node to node and also uh, then uh, creating different elements so we can uh, uh, firstly uh, let's go to the check the material we have used we have uh, three kind of material we have steel for the rebars and we have concrete so we can change uh, the concrete to some other other uh, models or uh, construction models so this is called uh, rumber uh, Osblot steel model you can select this one as you wish but uh, when we selecting this model so we cannot observe that uh, pinching effects so this is the, the material we have selected but we want something like this which is uh, almost practical 
so for this uh, case we should create a is this resist material so this is this resist material has almost 12 parameters and each parameter has their own effects so especially this pinching effect which means after a uh, few steps of loading after the yield is occurred and so there will be some deterioration so we considering the pinching effect zero means there is no pinching effect so one means there is significant pinching so now it's about 50 percent the same deterioration is also the uh, deterioration factor this is a pinching so it is with the pinching and zero means no pinching and one means a high pinching so both these two parameters is one is the deterioration and the pinching is keeping keeping 0.5 uh, you can play with this so for the first attempt i want to see as it is and also checking the second one with these default parameters in 400 uh, yield string and later uh, we will play with this parameter uh, to get a reasonable is receiver so for the concrete uh, you can uh, use the concrete which you concrete you want so the concrete i want is 31 megapascal 31.1 and here is called the confinement factor so the confinement factor is uh, because in in fiber elements we cannot considering the straps so the confinement uh, factor should be uh, between 1.1 to 1.3 and um, so we can take it 1.25 so you can see the strength is exists so that means we adding some uh, transfer uh, reports with uh, concrete and then they increase the, the strength so 1.2 okay uh, one more thing that uh, we can uh, we should change the uh, module of elasticity so the modulus of steel set one is almost 31000 gigapascal so we can keep it like this this is quite fast or we can use the equation the FEC square root of uh, uh, times uh, FEC so that was the, the uh, 4700 square FEC so that uh, that's also awesome. we can uh, uh, take it this one at least 28,000 This is it. So maybe okay. Another parameter is going to be the default for the time being. And later we will play with this parameter to capture a, a quite uh, reasonable exit risk curve. So the next we're going to go to the section and we can go to the section and we have one wall section. We can edit this section. So this is the uh, wall uh, width from that side to that side. We can change it to 3000. Uh, 3000 and the thickness of section each section is a uh, which means this area uh, 400 uh, 300 so we can increase that one to 400 and the width of the each section in this area is 400 it just means we're creating a two column in these two sides or uh, coupling these two columns with the shear wall and the remaining part is like this cover is you can change but it's keeping that one so you can uh, also come to that enforcement and you can edit that enforcement uh, as you wish so I keep this for example uh, for simple stop the model as it is and okay and now comes to the element class so in an element class we have in fill frame four spaced uh, elements so we have this one and you can see this section is created like this a fiber and you can change this one as you wish as much as you uh, as much as you increase this so the result will be more better you can see here much more fibers and uh, the inch length is also taking 60% uh, of the length of the 
accordingly. And we also can considering automatically mesh elements. There's also there's also effect on the convergence and analysis. Okay, and we can go to the node. We have two node. Uh, one is the bottom node here, and the second is called control node in the top. Uh, we can see the connectivity, how they connected together, and the constraint. We don't have any constraint in diaphragms. We have the restraint, the bottom of the shear wall, which is uh, fixed, and the time history. We want to define that time history. I'm going to go here, load. Uh, in previous uh, analysis, I have one a text file, and I'm going to show you it's called cyclic loading. And this is going to be one cyclic loading one, and you can see that cyclic loading is here. So the maximum is 110 millimeter, and it is almost 90 cycles. And now I can uh, increase the time steps to uh, 0 0.9, and this be a single, and you're OK. And now the same curve I have got it. So I can take that point is 79.2 uh, second, and you're OK. Now here I want to create a, a, a time is to this stage and that was 79.2 second and I can give as much as a step I want. So I want to, uh, this one should divide it by this one. So we will get the time steps. So we will create a smooth curve. Now the loading is applied okay and now we want to apply the load <coughs> on that on this node. So that's the control node. It's a static uh, time history node and this is the x1 in this direction and the type is displacement and the curve multiplier is 2 so which we have this curve then we will times and it's become 220 like this so the load curve name is which we will define as C okay and we also can add some uh, element loading as well such as uh, some gravity load as well but we not considering that as well. So no okay. We're gonna process it and we're gonna save the model first. I'm gonna save the model and it called uh here wall. Save and I can run the analysis. So it start to converge in the first step uh, some point was automatically yield so now it's starting this time is dipped here and now analysis completed and analysis completed so in this uh, step time uh, the structure is and this is convergence and this means uh, the element tolerance is very really large and it's not converged. So there, there is divergence. So in the post processing, and we're gonna see the response of the structure. So you can see how uh, this structure work. Yeah. So we can to so the global response, and we want to see the graph of a this resistance curve. And this is the uh, response, the a this resistance curve. So, um, so the structure uh, significantly damaged for this large uh, displacement so we can uh, take this value uh, select all copy selection and go back to here and uh, paste here paste. so I paste it here and uh, then I will uh, create the graph by using this one because I taking at this point the displacement it's in a negative direction we're gonna positive direction we're gonna give a negative one to changing the direction this time and this is the uh, unit from Newton to um, to killing it so I'm gonna select this one and going to down to 
down here and this card should be gone and now in the last one selecting and here so now okay this is finished and I want to uh, fix this issue um, this is not okay I'm going to transfer here and and this should be uh, minus uh, 120 and this is 120 uh, or we can make it 150 or 150 so this is the edges resist curve uh, which we, we defined uh, based on on this loading so it's mostly 2 2 and we got this is this is this curve now uh, in case the deterioration is quite significant and you can play that with that uh, with that material and you can get a better result and the pinching is okay and this is quite acceptable you can bring some changes This is it. This is the industry curve. So, like that, you can uh, conduct uh, your analysis and verify your work with the experiment. So, this is quite fast, and you don't need to uh, create uh, your own uh, fibers. Everything just it's everything is an automatic, and it's quite uh, fast. Especially with you creating in section. In case if you go to the some uh, like uh, uh, with software li like open seeds and that's quite difficult to create that kind of uh, section. Okay, this is the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, please put in the comment and I will find time to answer you. See you next time.